This is a radical position being offered by our friends on the other side of the aisle. They claim that we should support ensuring that people who are an imminent danger to themselves and others, such that they might commit mass murder, have a constitutional right to access a firearm, and to deny them that right would, quote, trample on an individual's due process and Second Amendment rights. You know who didn't have due process? You know who didn't have their constitutional right to life respected? The kids at Parkland and Sandy Hook and Uvalde and Buffalo, and the list goes on and on. So spare me the b about well, constitutional rights. Well, the gentleman not be, No, I will not yield, and I'm not going to yield for my entire five minutes, so don't ask again. <laughs> so first of all, these risk protection orders for work. They ensure that people who are a grave danger to themselves or others don't have access to a firearm. This is an idea that, by the way, the former Republican president said, and I quote, we must make sure that those judged to pose a grave risk to public safety do not have access to firearms. And that if they do so, those firearms can be taken through rapid due process. That's why I've called for red flag laws, also known as extreme risk protection orders. The former Republican president, the bill introduced by Senator Lindsey Graham. So this view of our Republican colleagues on this committee that no matter how dangerous you are, no matter how much you've exhibited an intention to kill others or kill yourself, you should have unfettered access to a firearm because the Second Amendment guarantees it. That is nonsense. Ooh, Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.